Struggling to keep track of your inventory? What if you could create a simple customized solution without needing to write a single line of code? Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. Whether you are running a small business or handling warehouse operations, staying on the top of your inventory is crucial. Now, the traditional system can be expensive and complicated. That's where Power Apps comes in. It allows persons, even non-developers, to create and customize their apps easily. Now, we are going to create our inventory check application in Power App. So, before we start, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we will create our inventory check app in Power Apps by using SharePoint as our data source. We will create two screens. One screen will be used for adding and updating the inventory records and the second screen will display all the records from our inventory. Also, we will implement filters and conditional formatting in our gallery. And we will visualize our records with the help of a pie chart according to our category. So first, in my SharePoint, I will create a new list. I will select blank list. I will name it inventory. I will hide the title column. Then I will add the first column, which will be text that will be product name. Then we will take a number type of column to display our quantity. Then we will add another text column, which will be, let's say supplier, supplier name. After that, we will take a choice type column for creating category. In the choice one, I will take electronic. Second will be our furniture. And the last one will be our apparel. Then save. After that, we will create another number type column, which will be stock alert threshold and the default value will be 10. After I will click save. So now we have created our inventory list. I will add a sample item. So I will give it product name chair, quantity 5, player name jack, category will be furniture and save. So in our inventory list, I have created a sample record. Now I will create our application. So I will click power apps. Now I will create a blank app. I will name it inventory check app. So I will change the name. I will name it inventory dashboard. Then first I will take a rectangle and then a text label. It will be our heading. I will name it dashboard font size 21 font weight bold and the color I will give it white. Now I want to display my inventory records here. So I will take a vertical gallery. I will search SharePoint, select my SharePoint site and my list, which is inventory, then connect. Now it's connected. I will change the layout. After changing the layout, I will drag it down in the text. Instead of title, I will first display my product name, the font size. I will increase it to 18. Then the label size, I will decrease the width now similarly i will display the quantity after quantity i will display the category choice type column so its value and paste again will be supplier name and then in the last it will be stock alert threshold now i will copy my rectangle again copy the label paste here here the label will be product i will give it a font color white Font weight. I will cut this. Font weight will be semi bold. This is the error. Let me remove this. Copy, paste. This will be our quantity. It will be quantity. Then our category. After that, supplier. And this will be threshold. It will be stock alert threshold. I will just remove this and it's set. Now we have displayed the list. What if we want to add and edit records? So for that, first here. I will create an icon. This will be add icon for creating our new record. And this arrow will be navigated to another screen to edit the record. Now in the add, I will select on select. I will create a variable that will be where form and its value will be new. And here I will set the where form to edit. Now we will create a new screen, blank screen. I will write here product details here from the dashboard. I will copy the rectangle paste here copy the name dashboard in the label i will write product details increase the size now we need a form so i will select edit form here select my sharepoint site then i will drag my form we don't need title so i will select fields and remove our title now we need to add validation so our product name is required so i will select required to true quantity will also be true supplier name will be optional category will be required and stock alert will also be required so this is how you apply validation now i will change the form name which will be product form on success i want to display a notification product detail saved successfully notification type will be dot success and duration will be thousand milliseconds also in the default mode form mode will be conditional so if comma where form 
is equal to edit then form mode will be edit and if where form is equal to new then form mode will be new and in the item for the reference we need to add lookup our SharePoint list where ID is equal to gallery dot selected dot ID so after that we need a button for submitting our form so here in the display I will write submit advanced section on select I will simply write submit form my form name and done also we will add a back arrow for navigating backwards on select I will navigate to my inventory dashboard the icon color will be white border color will also be white now we will check our add and edit so I will go here first I will edit we need to add navigation here so here I will write navigate product details I will copy this action paste here and then I will preview and check now if I change if I try to submit here we are getting our validation so I will write 9 and click on submit so here our product details save successfully and if I go here we are getting the updated record I will add a new record I will add the quantity click on submit after submitting we saw we are getting the gallery one dot selected value so to get rid of this we just need to go to our button and after that we need to reset our form now if I go here and click on submit now after submission we will navigate back to our inventory dashboard so preview and submit here we have navigated back to our dashboard now we want to implement filtering here so for that first let me increase the size and I will add a drop down in the drop down I will select items instead of drop down sample I will add an array first choice will be electronics second will be our furniture third will be our April and last will be our all now we want to filter according to our drop down so I will go to my gallery I will name it category drop down here I will open a bracket write filter where category dot value is equal to category drop down dot selected dot value now it's working but for all we want to display all records so I will first format it then open a bracket I will write if drop down category dd dot selected dot value is not equal to all then it will follow this else it will display us inventory then I will click on format and preview and after clicking all we are getting to see all our records here similarly if we want to implement searching so for that I will take a text input let me align it together I will remove the default text in the hint text I will write search product I will name it search box here I will increase the size then enter open a bracket here I will write search add a comma my search box dot text with the product name now I will format and check searching so if I write H if I write chair this is how our searching is working after implementing the filter we just need to add one more thing we want to conditionally format our row according to our stock alert threshold if it's below 10 the color should be red and if it's equal to or greater than 10 the threshold should be greater than 10 now we want to implement conditional formatting here so for that we can take a condition that if our stock alert threshold is less than 10 its color should be red and when the threshold is equal to or greater than 10 then it should be green so for that you can simply change the text here but I am going to take a rectangle I will place it here I will send it to back then first I will change the text color which will be white then our rectangle color should be conditional so here in the color I will add a condition if this item dot stock alert threshold is less than 10 then color value will be green else color value will be red so this is how our conditional formatting works we have changed the condition if less than 10 it should be red and if greater than equal to 10 then it should be green now it's working perfectly if I add a new record I will name it t-shirt I will set the quantity 15 supplier name Nathan category April submit then the color is 10 here so we will add another action reset form so after clicking add we will have the blank fields now I will add another product I will write laptop quantity 15 supplier name Ryan category electronics and threshold 5 after clicking submit so this is how you can implement conditional formatting here now we want to visualize our list data so for that we will take a pie chart now for adding our pie chart we will simply decrease this as we don't need quantity and category we will display on the pie chart I will drag it here here then place here this is our stock threshold then our navigation arrow reduce our gallery control now we will take a chart here so 
for that pie chart after that i will increase the chart width in the advanced section i will select items instead of pie chart sample i will write our list which is inventory now we want to display according to our category so for that i will select add columns my column name will be category name that will be our category dot value now in the label i will select the category name also we need to add our group by first i will form a text then i will write enter i will write group by comma category name then group inventory and close now we have category name only three and then the table records we need to add a column again so again i will write form a text open the bracket write add columns comma i will name it number which will be this record dot group inventory after formatting i will go in my pie chart and in the series here we forgot to do one thing i will write count rows now we have our series and number here so this is how you can display it also if we want to display the number so for that we have our add columns here we have label which will be category name bracket and count rows this record dot group inventory and open comma and close now we need to create another column which will be label so i will write label which will be category name and open bracket then and count rows this record dot group inventory now we want to display the number along with our category so for that i will create label which will be category name i will add and then double quotes open bracket before that i will add a space i will write and again and write count rows which will be this record dot group inventory close count rows after formatting here we can see the label we also need to write and and close the bracket so this is how we can do this now in the label we can change it to label and on the preview we can see the number along with our category electronics we have two records april we have one furniture one and we have implemented filter and this is our conditional formatting for the stocks that are below the threshold so in this video we learned how to create an inventory check app in our power apps by using sharepoint as our data so we created two screens first for adding and editing our data and the second screen we displayed all the records also we implemented the filters and the conditional formatting in our gallery after that we displayed our records visually with the help of our pie chart thank you for choosing know how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning